Um, Escher sterilization has been approved for use in the United States since 2002. It is becoming a very popular form of uh, tubal blockage. Essentially what is done in the Escher procedure is a small camera is placed through the cervix into the uterus. The doctor inserts two small coils into the very opening of the tube. The misperception is that the coils cause the blockage when in fact the coils cause the tubes to scar or heal closed. Um, the, the, the difficult thing about this form of blockage is that it blocks the tube in a very critical portion, the isthmic portion of the tube, which is the narrowmost portion of the tube as it goes to the wall of the muscle of the uterus. The best thing about reversing this form of tubal occlusion is that at the time of reversal, the remaining tube is usually long and healthy, and that is the tube we use to reverse the blockage. To reverse the Escher procedure, we have to perform a procedure called a tubo-uterine implantation. This is a procedure which has been around since the mid-1900s, and we have commonly done this procedure to reverse other types of tubal blockage in which the, the, the tube is blocked in the narrowmost portion of the uterus. Tubo uterine implantation requires that we make an incision into the opening of the uterus and reinsert the healthy tube into the uterine cavity. At this time we also remove both of the Escher coils to prevent any complications from future pregnancies. This has been done as an outpatient procedure we have found it to be safe, and when we have reviewed our database of patients who become pregnant after tubo uterine implantation, we found that about 57% of our patients have become pregnant. And this 57% tends to be true no matter if one tube has been implanted or both tubes have been implanted. We found that this provides a very nice success rate after Escher reversal and it is very comparable to success rates uh, seen by IVF and in many instances exceed the success rates of IVF.